Hello, welcome to Texas Style Cuisine. Glad you joined us tonight. I've got a special treat for you this evening. We are going to learn how to make Boston baked beans. And I said we because I have a guest appearance tonight. 1960 hiker dude is going to be coming here to show us how to make these baked beans. Uh, something foreign to this Texas boy. He's uh, He lives up there by Boston. He's up in Massachusetts, so he ought to know how to do them. So stick with us, sit back, get ready to go, and we're going to learn how to make Boston baked beans together. I'm 1960 Hiker Dude. I'd like to thank Chef Johnny for having me on this channel. Boston baked beans is a classic New England dish. It's great with franks and brown bread. It's also great as a side dish. It goes great with any kind of barbecue. So try this once and I guarantee you'll never eat beans out of a can again. We're doing the prep inside and then taking it outside to cook over charcoal. The full recipe appears in the description below. So kick back, relax, grab your favorite beverage, and enjoy the show. Soak one pound of dried navy beans overnight in cold water. Bring the water in the beans to a boil, then simmer for 45 minutes until tender. You'll want to use a tall pot as the beans have a tendency to foam up a bit. While the beans simmer, this is a good time to get started on our sauce. Add the molasses, brown sugar, salt, black pepper, dry mustard, cloves, tomato paste, Worcestershire sauce, apple cider vinegar, and water. Give it all a good mix. Bring it to a boil. It's been about 45 minutes. Drain the beans. Save the bean water. You'll need it later. Add the beans to a 10 inch Dutch oven. Add the bacon. and the onion. Give it all a good mix. Pour the sauce over the beans. Add just enough bean water to cover the beans. Bake for three to four hours using seven coals beneath and 14 coals on top to get 350 degrees in your 10 inch Dutch oven. You'll need to change your coals several times. This is a good time to check your beans. The beans will continue to absorb water as they bake. Add bean water as needed to keep them from drying out. It's been about four hours. Let's lift the lid and see what we've got. Mm, mm, mm. This is what I like to call a nice pot of love. These beans are wicked good. Let's get this plated up. Are you hungry yet? It was fun hanging out here on Texas Style Cuisine and spending some time with you. And this is 1960 Hiker Dude, signing off. Thanks for stopping by Texas Style Cuisine today. Sure hope you enjoyed it. I know I did. 1960 Hiker Dude did a great job like he always does. If you haven't been to his channel, go by there, visit it, subscribe his channel. If you're into camping and hiking 
and just into good food, that's a good place to show up because he has a lot of great information on his YouTube channel. So go by and see him. It's 1960 Hiker Dude. And also, if you enjoyed the video tonight, go down there and give me a thumbs up. I always appreciate getting those thumbs up. If you've never subscribed my channel, I'd appreciate it if you did so. Anyways, have a great day. We're always glad to see you. And come back to see us next time on Texas Dog Cuisine. Sitting by the wagon when the sun come up this morning. Bacon, eggs, and coffee, biscuits, and beans. Cookie strikes the bell and he rings the world a warning How them boys put food away beats all I've ever seen